Our cans are shipped in from Rexam, it's a company in North Carolina. We normally receive 25 pallets per load. Each pallet of cans has 8,169 cans. You know, our cans come in raw, empty, on a pallet. There's 8,169 cans per, per pallet. It's 21 layers, and they're loaded on the end feed of the depalletizer which a pallet is fed into the depalletizer and the machine actually sweeps off one layer at a time. And from that point, the cans, they, they ride along the conveyor bed to a cable conveyor, which, carry, which single files the cans to a coder, which is a video, video jet coder, which codes the bottom of the can. We're stating our, our facility, the date, the time, the expiration date, from this point, the can drops through a rinser, which actually turns the can 180 degrees upside down, and there's um, treated water that's, that's uh, sprayed inside the can to completely rinse it out before it goes into the filler. There's a 72 valve filler. Once the can uh, goes through the filler, it is then uh, seamed through our seamer. We have a 12-head seamer. So, and the filler operator, he controls, he controls the, the filler and the seamer, and he's on the platform loading sleeves of lids into the seamer, and there's 660 lids per sleeve. The filler speed, the seam speed, is about 1,100 cans a minute. Then it's on its way to the warmer. Now what the warmer does is it, it washes the can, and then it brings the temperature of the product three to five degrees above dew point. And this is crucial because once the can goes into the carton, we don't want it to sweat. The product, when it comes out of the filler, is 34 degrees. Well, once we rinse the can, we divide it into two single file lines, which the can will go through a fill tech, which measures the amount of liquid that's inside the can. And if it's below 12 ounces per can, there's, there's plungers that actually reject the can off the line. From this point, the can is flipped 180 degrees upright where the can is uh, standing upright and then it'll run underneath an air knife which blows any moisture off the can and from that point it goes into a into a, a GPI packer. The GPI machine that we have, our packer, when we're producing 20 pack we actually divide the cans up into five lanes and so, it, so it's a four by five package which makes 20, that's our 20 pack. We divide the cans up, we feed, we feed into the cartons and then the machine actually glues the ends and sends it on its way. Now once the once the case leaves the GPI packer, there's another video jet coder that, that puts a code on the carton. And then from that point, it rides along the case conveyor, up a spiral to the palletizer, and then stretch wraps it, and the forklift operator basically puts the product in the warehouse, ready to, ready to be put on trailers and sent to our sister locations. Okay, we have a distribution plant in Warrenton, Virginia, Weir's Cave over in the valley, and then we also have a Virginia Beach beverage in Virginia Beach, which is a 7-Up plant. And then we also distribute from here, Charlottesville. Last year we did 1.9 million cases of cans. 